Sartium back from the abyss of NATO occupation. You're alive! <laughs> Impressive after the horrors Duke told us about. Let's go. Dad's talking to Katya right now. They are so nice, both Katya and her daughter. And Katya's medical training will come in handy. Thank you for the information, Katya. But there is one more question I need to ask. But of course. What do you know of the occupation forces? Huh? I'm sorry, I don't quite get what you... So, you've never seen any foreign army in this area? No, I haven't seen any army. But we haven't really been to any important places. I see. Hmm. Artyom, a moment. Artyom, stop by my desk once you're done talking to the old man. I've got something for you. Great job saving them, Artyom. Katya here has provided us with vital information. A mechanic called Crest is hiding in the port. His help is required if we're to fix the Aurora in the foreseeable future. Yeramak can't handle the repairs alone. So, once you're ready, go to the port and invite Crest to join us. And then get back ASAP. We'll have to decide what to do about the fanatics on that bridge. Now we know for sure that the bridge is in working order. They crossed it last year when they got here. Well, at least some things are clearer now. But still, so many questions. There might not even be any enemy forces around here at all. They probably get us in the key regions only. In any case, we'll learn everything once we reach Yamantau. From the top source. The Moscow government is essentially a local council, to put things in perspective. So, now we just need to figure out how to cross this goddamn bridge. Damn. What do I even do about this? I could replace the cylinder, but there's just no spare. I've got to fix this one, and I don't even know where to start. It uh, usually takes a whole workshop to fix things like that. So you're going to the port to look for that mechanic? Uh, please, do your best. Otherwise, we might as well get used to this place. Hi, Artyom. Hello again, Artyom. You did great out there. Or so everyone says. <laughs> in the meantime, we have dug in here. We've been waiting for the occupying forces. But so far, we have only seen winged and four-legged ones. <laughs> Our ecology seems to sit badly with them. <laughs> Some bandit-looking characters in the distance, too. So, Artyom, are you going to the port? There's nobody there. At least, I haven't seen any normal people. But there sure are mutants, so you'd better take care. Take care? Artyom? The scourge of the Dark Ones? <laughs> Go get them all, Artyom. They'd better hope they can run fast enough. By the way, Alyosha, my friend. That Katya lady Anna brought in? She's a nurse, so maybe you should have her look at your wound, huh? It'd make a great opener for getting acquainted, you know? <laughs> no dice. Stepan's all over her with his rugged charm. I haven't got a chance. <laughs> <laughs> How do you like the backpack? Is it comfortable? Can you operate stealthily with it? I have a present for you, here. A Tihar rifle. 
Ring any bells? It's pneumatic, but it still pecks a wallop. Plus, making bullets for it is easy as pie, even in the field. Just remember to keep that pressure up, otherwise you might as well be spitting him out yourself. Other than that, it will never fail you. I did my best. So, bear it with honor. <laughs> and don't forget to drop by from time to time. I have a few ideas for improving it. Thank you, Artyom. If not for you, we'd never have escaped that place. They were so busy looking for you. And then Anna picked us up. Yes, Uncle Artyom. Thank you. And your wife is great. She's kind and really strong. Thank you, Auntie Anna. There you go, Artyom. As I always said, you lucked out with me. We all lucked out with Anna. She's a total dead eye. Now I only wish your mom could come with us too. With a real medic, we'd become unstoppable! <laughs> <laughs> Katya, Nastya, come have some tea. Don't be shy. Thank you. So, Katya, where are you at from? This is in Ural. A couple of years ago, we heard there was this great place on the Volga, so we made the journey. Who could have known that fanatics were in control now? And they say this place used to be great. Did you come with your husband? There were 15 of us, but now only Nastya and I are alive. I, I'm sorry. Hey, why are you so gloomy? Don't you like the tea? I do. Oh, when the gargoyle attacked, Nastya lost her teddy. The beast carried it away. Oh, must have thought it was alive. Oh, don't you worry. We'll find your teddy. Huh, we call them demons in Moscow. And you call them gargoyles. Yes, where did those things crawl out from, I wonder? Well, there's radiation, chemical weapons, and stuff. Nature just went strange. Yeah, the planet's been trashed. No wonder Silantius had such a hold over everyone here, with people seeing things like that every day. Poor fools. They live in darkness and die just like that, ridden with disease. I'm a trained nurse, but Silantius wouldn't even hear of me treating anyone. He said God claims his own. He only cares about feeding their bodies to that fish once they die. He says it's their sure way into heaven. I tried doing something to help them, but no, it's a sin. And then he just locked us up in the tower. And somehow a stupid flashlight made it worse. Uncle Crest gave me the flashlight, but Salantos got mad and smashed it. He did, and then he cursed Crest. So the man had to hide in the port. It's a basement layer, so Silentius can't get him there. He also wanted to make mommy marry him, but she didn't want to. He's old and nasty. Ah. Yes, the gospel of the damn fish says nothing about marriage. I was lucky to protect my daughter. That crazy creep, he's just so... Will you take us away from here, please? Of course we will. Don't you worry. Artyom, uh, I took some measurements. There is one hell of a radioactive hotspot between this place and the port. The readings are off the scale. So you better take a boat. We found one and docked it under the bridge. Well, unless you're afraid of the monster. Duke told us over the radio. 
Artyom? Afraid? Bullshit! Besides, the monster is just a catfish. After the nuking, the fallout got washed off into the rivers and settled down as sediment. Catfish are bottom dwellers, so they got hit worst. But this one wasn't so bad, by the way. I was careful and never got attacked. I don't think it will attack if you keep quiet. It's no alligator after all. By the way, did you see any of those? Uh, back in the States, I mean. It's not like they were all over the place there, like bears in Russia. You know? Though I've been to Florida once and visited an alligator farm there. I haven't seen one since I joined the Marines, though. Middle East, Moscow, the embassy, you know. I heard Miller saved you from a lynching. When shit hit the fan? Yep. I'd rather not talk about it, though.
<laughs> you pretty amazing, Bratuha. That was crazy. I mean, those mutants are pretty hardcore. The villagers I never have a chance against them. You? You just cut through them, bleh. Well, it's pleasure to meet you. Name's Christ, by the way. Are you from the train? Bet the locals wouldn't even talk to you guys. <laughs> Open fire right away, didn't they? <laughs> of course, those dumb bastards. I've been here long enough to know the drill. They have a cult over there. The dumbasses are hung up on technology having destroyed the old world. So they don't exactly take kindly to smart guys here. And me? Well, they were just gonna lock me up until I agreed to go fight those electrical demons of theirs to absolve my sins. Because I was in cahoots with Satan, apparently, blad. <laughs> Some Satanist I am. <laughs> I've been fixing engines and trading all my life. Now, now I'm moving to the east. Blin, I'm sick of this part of country. There's just nothing to do here anymore. The cities are gone. Bandits, beasts all around. Lots of space across the Volga, though. Plenty of opportunity. So, I came here with my rail car full of trading goods, hoping to make a few sales on the way east. What a fool I was. I was lucky to get out alive. <laughs> anyway, since you've arrived, I've been thinking of this little plan I had, never had a chance to pull off alone, but since you guys are also going east, now, judging by what I could see with my binoculars, it's a miracle your engine is still running. Oh, by the way, take the binoculars. I'll show you where everything is. Look at the bridge first. See that section on top? It should lower if the emergency mechanism still works. Katya from the church should know better. I've never been to the bridge myself. There, to the right, that huge hangar. That's a terminal, blin. The cult is considered a holy place. Covered it all in graffiti, schmafiti, there... <laughs> Tsarfish live there, you know? Stupid bastards. Even further right, see the building near all those carriages? Used to be a train depot. There are some bandits there now, but the place itself ain't bad. Oh, the area nearby isn't too bad either. There's a good hunting and stuff. I set up several safe camps around there. If you find them, you could rest, fix your equipment. <laughs> Unless you prefer spending nights at an open campfire. Now, come on, let me show you my home now. Here is my cave. And this is where I live. Your toilet, one, oh, here's a bed. So if you're tired, my home is your home. I made a workbench to tinker on. If you need ammo or grenades, there's some uh, raw materials here. So help yourself. You can have anything you like here. Can't carry all the shit anyway. <laughs> Come on, don't be shy. Oh, anyhow, gotta tell you, this isn't just a pretty face. I've got a whole lot of knowledge stored up in here. And look at these hands. They know how to fix stuff. You'll never have second thoughts about picking me up. Yes. 
to buy some smokes from the villagers before the assholes chased me away. Dumb cretins didn't like my light. Yeah, I've been banned from the village and the bridge ever since. No, you could take the zipline down. Just hook up and uh, away you go. But I guess you shouldn't start a fight with them right away. They are dumb and brainwashed, so they were probably just scared shitless by your arrival. I'll bet they thought Judgment Day had come, and right on time, too. <laughs> You have nothing to fear from them. Yeah. The beast? Wow, that's another story, though. Take these ugly mutant bastards from earlier, for example. One of them, it's nothing. But you come across a pack of them? Oh, yeah. Just run. I once had to drop all my shit to just get away, and I consider myself lucky. Woohoo, the motherfuckers are smart. Throwing rocks. Those things hurt like hell. Humans are always worse. Some bandits came here recently? I have no idea what they want. They didn't approach the bridge or the village even once. They just sit there, bled, waiting for something. But I know they are bad news, you know? Villagers say people started going missing when the bandits come. Now you go fishing or something, then you just don't come back. Well, I could go on for ages like this, but your leader wanted something done. Just go on ahead, I'll gather some stuff here. I'll see you at your train! Check out those antennas some 200 meters from the Aurora. She said she saw something there. 